All right. So cool. I'm going to go ahead and is anyone familiar with Canva? Just a little bit. Okay. So Canva is what I use for all of my own um cool little stuff. So like if you scroll, I'm gonna scroll down here. It's like all of my um design stuff. I do it all through Canva. Like I'm really about to do my graduation invites on here as soon as I have some downtime. So um. I'm going to click on. So for example, this is the banner that I use. Y'all from my website, this is what I use on that. That's what I use on my YouTube. So it's fairly easy to utilize. You just have to make sure um, you're just kind of paying attention to where you want to go and what you want it to do. So I'm gonna go back to the home page. Um, so when you guys get ready to design something, you can type up here like flyer. And that gives you like the suggested, um, not like the suggested sizes for a flyer. So that will come up immediately. So the big thing you have to remember with your visual representation or your, um, your visual is it should really give me a whole idea of what it is that you're doing without me having to flip through your project. Does that make sense? So like the example that you guys see, some people only talk about three key things that they want to fix. Cause you can't give me the whole thing in the flyer. Like you simply cannot. Um, with the people doing the three key things, that's been the way that I've seen it done most effectively. But then I've seen students do their whole report um, through their visual. Do you guys have knee deep? Cause that's the first time I ever brought it in. Who y'all got? You got fresh 97, give me that. That is a horrible example. That's from my summer. No, that's that's a horrible example. That's from my summer class. Summer class is smart kids, but it's a summer class. Um, so I'm gonna pass around this knee deep one because actually one of my personal favorite ones. Oh, shoot, I'm recording it. So I got the knee deep one. <laughs> um, so on the front, you guys can kind of see that they talk about. Okay, oh, this is so awkward. So you guys can see that on the front, they're talking about doing a website revamp. And then they have the purpose of why they should do a website revamp. This literally came from the assignment sheet. And then when you have on the back, they talk about the three key reasons why you should do it. So they talked about clarity, improved visuals, and utility. Like you notice that they didn't spend all the time necessarily going through saying like, this suck, that suck, this suck, which you can do. But the main goal is you want for people to have a visual of why they need to fix their website. Does that make sense? So this is one of my personal favorite ones that is not um, the same traditional one. And then you have the, 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 the. Then you have this one on Pitt Street Brewing Company in which they actually talked about their audit. So there's different ways that you guys can do that. Again, I know some of y'all are probably like, Miss McCoy, just tell me what you want me to do and then I'm gonna do it, you're gonna leave me alone. But there are different ways you guys can present this information. Again, the main thing is, remember, we're going to be in like a conference room. You're sitting in a conference. Who is your audience for this, for the visual? Mm -hmm. This is the only visual that is for a public audience. Like public audience, general employees. Everything else is CEOs. Okay, make sure you guys catch that on the assignment sheet. This is the only thing that will be for like general people. And the main reason that is because you wouldn't give everybody the same jargon, right? Unless you want to sit there and define it all for everyone. So you guys make sure you have a look at that one. Actually, a lot of these are really good visuals except for that one y'all were looking at. <laughs> to be real. Um, so yeah, you have the flyer thing here. But also, um, know that you don't have to be strapped to just flyers. So say that you guys want to do an Instagram post. Because how many social media posts do you guys have to create? So this is a great spot for you guys to do that. Um, this is where I do all of my Instagram posts. So if any of y'all want to pull out your, ooh, you can pull out your phone real fast. If you go to our T. McCoy um, research page, you should possibly be able to see some of my um, Instagram posts that I've done here. 
because it picks it to the size that you need it to be. So if you do it anywhere else, it's gonna to be too big. So it helps you guys snap it into size. Also say that you guys don't wanna do this and you wanna create your own Instagram post where it's just a picture. If you guys download Photo Grid, I use Photo Grid for mine personally. Um, and then when you hit edit at the very bottom, it's gonna ask you like what size do you want it to be? And you can click Instagram. So it'll snap it to whatever size you want it to be. Is that talk to me? For the social media stuff like you're talking about now, what exactly do you want us to include? Like, hey, go to the celery and get some coffee or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're creating the social media post to bring everyone in. Cause remember their mm -hmm. virtual presence is the problem. Right, so that's why you guys started with the audit of the website. So now you guys got to start bringing people in. Okay. So since we don't have a like they don't ah. have a website, is it the same? Like y'all do the same thing. Okay. Yeah, y'all. So on here we can like make an Instagram post about actually posting Instagram. Okay. okay. Well, you don't have to post it to your your personal Instagram because of you how you feel about it. Um, I just need to see it in your portfolio. Um, but like I said, I got to figure out something for the group that can do this the best. So if you guys can convince the actual businesses to post your stuff, I'll figure something out. I, I can't pay you money. I can give you like waffles. I like smash waffles. Or pizza. So I'll find something to give y'all. Um, I'm sure the scullery would actually be very happy to post whenever you guys develop. So if you want to do that, I'm pretty sure they'll be open to it. Um, try to think what else is on Canva here. So again, that's the big thing for Canva. It's fairly easy to use. Uh, let me mute this video right here real fast because I don't know what's on my personal stuff. So give me one. Actually. All right, back up. So this right here is the handout that I actually use um, while I'm on the job market. I know it's tech steps, uh, but basically what it does, it takes my whole dissertation and condenses it into a flat, right? So like over here on the side, like, y'all don't have to read it all, but over here, like I have technical professional communications defined because again, I'm talking to a general audience that really won't have time to read a six chapter dissertation, right? Like they just need to know what are the key takeaways. Now, if any of you guys decide you want to go this route and not go like the pretty visual route, that is fine. Like, so if you want to translate your recommendation report into this, I am cool with that. Just make sure you don't dump everything on there. Um, then on this page, you notice I have a key takeaway section. So that's one way that I've done it. And another way that I've done it is here as well. This is a presentation that I gave at a conference. So I know up here it looks really text dense. However, when it's printed off, it really doesn't look this close. So as you guys are editing your stuff, make sure that you're taking the time to actually print it out and make sure it shows up the way that you think it's gonna show up. Do not wait for the day that it's due to print it off. I've seen it happen to too many people. Print it off like two days prior, something else, because even for myself, I tried to wait till like the day before I caught my flight to print this off, and the whole thing turned out grayscale. I don't know why it just did, so I had to go back and fix it. Um, when you guys are working over here, make sure you click free now. Don't, let me jump. Click free. Don't try, don't oh no, I don't want to replace my stuff. Let me do something new. Credit is on here. I'm going to go with Claire itself. Um, PictoChart is fairly the same, pretty much intuitive. However, I don't think PictoChart is as cute. But I, I like cute stuff, to be real with y'all. So if you do PictoChart, I would not grade you wrong or like poop on you for doing that. Make sure you see all of these are free here. If I click on this one, 
Sometimes it's going to have that watermark on it. Can I zoom? Where can I zoom in? Y'all see the watermark? You don't want the watermark on your stuff. So make sure you click in these free joints. Because, I mean, unless you want to pay for it, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not. But I'm saying go the free route. And then all you would do is you would just download it up here. Download it as a PNG. Boom. I'm going to do this thing, thing. What would I do? Continue editing. Did it download? Oh, here it is. Sorry. And then it'll open right there. So that you guys can print it. So, again, Canva is what I would suggest using. Um, one thing that I'll probably point out here, which might confuse some of y'all when y'all start editing, you're going to have to pay attention to like, I'm just click on something. You're going to have to pay attention to like this, or if you want something opaque, so me if I click on the picture and I decide I don't want it as transparent, right? If I want to put text on top of this, uh, it's crazy because it's a little bit harder to do it on this window than I could do it on my actual computer. I can just drop that on top of that joint right there. If I want to copy it, I can copy it. Again, it's fairly easy to use. If you want to do a front back, just hit add a new page and it is right there. So when you go to print it, just hit front back. Any questions, beautiful queen, kings and queens? Any questions while I start going around looking at everybody's stuff individually? We good? All right, there's my lesson on Canva and I can upload at the blackboard for anyone that